Um, my name's Terrell, and um, these are my friends, Alexis and Alex. We love um, going to sailing. It's a really cool place to be. Can't wait until next week. <laughs> my favourite sailing boat is Peter because it's the single one I like because I go on it on my own because I don't need any help unless it's an emergency and have to call people for help. It's such a different experience, something that we can't offer within the confines of the day centre. So, yeah, it's sure. about getting out in the community and sure. experiencing new things. Sure. Okay. Oh, the, the, the staff here are fantastic. Oh. Um, as you can see, we wear the life jackets, but they've got all the equipment needed for us to safely support our guys getting in and out of the boats, the guys that need hoisting, um, and the safety element within the boat. We have great training from the staff. So there, yeah, there are no concerns at all. Hi, I'm Paula and this is Matthew and we're from Radlett Lodge School. Um, Matthew enjoys coming here because he likes sailing and he thinks that he's going to get wet and he likes, he thinks that we're going to go swimming when we tip on the boat. So he gets the excitement move and move fun move out move. of it. Yeah. And having been down on the first couple of occasions, I realised how rewarding it was to do things for people who really have got special needs and it makes you feel how fortunate you are yourself to know that you have got good health. I'm Julie Golden clark I'm assistant head teacher at Heritage House School. Um, we're a school for students with severe learning difficulties and my leavers class come here every Wednesday to sail to learn simple sailing skills, develop their confidence getting in and out of water and generally really enjoying themselves. We do charge our sailors a small annual fee. That's £25 and it's only gone up five, five pounds a year since um, 2000 when we started. We need to keep that figure low because we're all about accessibility. If we put that figure too high, some of our sailors won't come and that's the last thing we, we would want. In fact, of course, we have a system for sailors to not pay if they have financial difficulties. We want everybody who wants to sail to sail. My, my name is Tom, Tom and I've been doing, doing this voluntary for about seven, seven years and, I enjoy, I, and I, I, I'm slightly disabled myself though. I, I don't say although I, I'm a receptionist and I, I, I love it. You know. Yes, I've done six years voluntary work here. That's four days a week for six years. What gives us the greatest pleasure is the children and disabled people that sit in our boats and get pleasure from it. In fact, I'm getting quite emotional now just thinking about it. Anyway, you spend and you get blind. Blind people come, you have to hold their hand and coax them on board and they love it once they're on because they're the same as any other person once they're in a boat on the water and that's what keeps us going. So we do have a problem raising large capital sums. Our access dinghies cost around £5,500 each. Um, they're brilliant boats, you know, the sailors love them. They're just what we need. There isn't an alternative. Um, that's cheaper or, or indeed an alternative at all. Um, so we have to keep renewing those boats. They're very heavily used. And of course, you don't find 5,000 pounds growing on trees. 